Have you decided to take the AWS Certified Data Analytics Specialty Exam, but you're not quite sure where to start in terms of your revision? Well, in this video, I share my top five tips for passing the exam. Tip number one, read the AWS PDF that gives the information on what the exam entails. This includes the five domains that the exam will cover and all the AWS services. On the same webpage, it links out to example questions. Make sure you read these example questions so you can get a feel of what AWS are going to ask you in the exam. Too often when I speak to individuals who've been unsuccessful at passing this exam, they haven't been aware or took the time to read these two PDFs. They provide invaluable information into what the exam entails and I urge you to go read them. I'll leave a link in the description to them below. Tip number two, identify gaps in your knowledge for the exam. AWS recommend that you have five years experience working with data and two years experience with AWS before you embark on this exam. That means you should be familiar with a lot of the services that are going to come up in this exam. However, you will have gaps in your knowledge, maybe with certain services or in-depth gaps in certain places that you need to fill in. There's no point you spending time revising on things that you already know. So use the exam guides that AWS provide to identify the gaps in your knowledge and start filling it in. Which brings me on to tip number three, fill in the gaps in your knowledge. Now you've identified the gaps in your knowledge, fill them in. Use all the resources available at your disposal. Some people will do courses on the likes of Udemy. Others may want to use a Cloud Guru. Some people just use the AWS documentation. My advice is to pick whatever suits you as an individual. Personally, I use a course on a Cloud Guru. I then use the AWS documentation to fill in more gaps or do deep dives into certain white papers. And that brings me on to tip number four, get hands-on experience. I have spoke to people again who have not been successful in this exam and I asked them, did you actually build anything? Did you take this knowledge, open up AWS and build a data solution? And too often they say, no, Johnny, I didn't build a data solution. We all know the best way to learn is not always by theory, it's by getting hands-on and practical. That's number one why I recommend maybe selecting a course because a lot of them do have labs and if you are selecting the course, preferably pick one that has this content. But that doesn't need to be a blocker. AWS have plenty of workshops that are for free and you can go and pick something that's a data specialty, follow along the work booklet and actually spin up some analytic solutions yourself or what I do is come up with a problem in my head and then I go into the AWS console and I build something like a data lake with EMR to solve that problem with a glue data catalog. It's totally up to you. You can use something that's out there existing on the internet or you can start coming up with your own problems. And that brings me on to tip number five, something I use extensively, practice exams. Come at this from lots of different angles. There are plenty of practice exams out there, the likes of WizLabs and Udemy. I have my own practice exams on Udemy. I'll leave a link in the description. But my advice is, is do as many as you possibly can afford and get your hands on. Don't just use this to simulate the test environment. That's very important that you get a feed for it in the day. But if we go back to the previous steps that I've mentioned, use it to identify gaps in your knowledge. Look at the questions you can't answer, then go the whole way back and start filling in those gaps. And what we've created here is a mechanism at Amazon, and you can read the book working backwards, you'll see that they use mechanisms called flywheels to constantly improve. And this is our flywheel. We identify the gaps in those knowledge, we fill those gaps in, we try the practice tests, we identify gaps in the knowledge, hopefully there should be less this time, and we keep going round and round and round and round that flywheel until we're ready for the exam. Okay, folks, that's everything from me today. I hope you enjoyed this brief video on how I passed the AWS specialty exam for data analytics. I'd really appreciate a like and subscribe to the channel because it helps me out. And please check out the links below to the Udemy exam that I have. And until next time, thanks for watching.